Now it's time to drive the new compact plug-in hybrids of Mercedes, which I had a closer look at on the IAA. And today I drive the A250e. And the good thing with these cars is they combine a standard combustion engine with an electric engine that provides very good fuel consumption. And on top, you should have some driving pleasure as well. Now I'm driving in my A250e, purely electric. And this really feels like a normal electric car. And it's very quiet and easy. And you have to know this engine, that electric engine delivers 75 kilowatts of power. And that is enough to drive with that car up to 140 kilometers per hour easily. So we have we integrated an electrical uh, engine between the combustion engine and the gearbox, and it's integrated in the in the gearbox uh, housing. So now we're going onto the motorway, and there I can really try to yeah see what the car is capable of because the system output of these two engines is 160 kilowatts or 218 horsepower, and the car delivers a maximum torque of 450 newton meters and. They say that car should drive up to 240 kilometers per hour. So we reached the 180 uh, kilometers per hour easily and quick. I have to say that car really runs more than well. Okay, so we don't need a 12 volt uh, starter anymore. So we start directly from the from the electrical engine part, and uh, first time we use a DC charging system. The data sheet of the car says the consumption should be 1.4 liters per 100 kilometer driven. But you have to know that within this calculation they use the electric energy as well. So I think if you're only talking about the petrol you use, you should expect something between let's say 4, 4.5 up to maybe 5.5 liters per 100 kilometer driven. But I think for a car with that amount of power, that's more than fair. I do not have to talk about a lot about um, quality and craftsmanship and materials in this Mercedes A-Class only because it's electric. It is a Mercedes, it delivers what you expect. And the nice thing here is the car comes with MBUX and I do find in my car the white screen as well. So this really is a Mercedes I do like the way I like every Mercedes. Important to know is that you will not only find the new plug-in hybrid in the A-Class as a compact car, you also will find it in the new B-Class, which is then called B250e. But if you think you need more space or you want all-wheel drive, you try to take this fella here because this is the new GLE 350DE. And as you may have heard, the difference is the D because that car provides the power out of a combination of an electric engine and a diesel engine. The car offers me the opportunity to change the uh, power of recuperation we use by just using the shift pedals here which you normally use to shift gears and so you, if you use the strongest mode the most recuperation possible you have such an amount of recuperation that you really do not need your braking pedal at all. We had two goals in the development. We wanted to achieve uh, more than 70 kilometers electrical range. That was one of the of the major goals, and the other one was um, to have uh, to have a maximum load capacity and volume for the customer. And uh, so we took the the volume of the tank and put the battery in this in this area and shifted the tank to the rear in between the rear axle. And we had to develop a new exhaust system, which end up in the middle of the tunnel. The A250e features a very clever thing, which is a system that calculates your route if you use the sat-nav. And that works the way that it knows the way you're driving and it instantly knows when does it make sense to use the electric engine, when does it make sense to use the combustion engine, and when it is the perfect way to combine these engines, or when it makes perfect sense to recuperate. And the result of it is a very nice low fuel consumption. That was my first test drive with the new compact A250e, the new compact plug-in hybrid of Mercedes-Benz. And I really have to say the powertrain delivers such a big amount of power that you can really have fun while driving the car. On top of this, you can drive fully electric through the city, emission-free, and if you want, you can drive long distances 
with a very nice fuel consumption. And normally you would expect when you talk about an e-vehicle that this is expensive. And of course this car is not a bargain. It costs you 36,900 euros in Germany. But you have to know the A250 with a combustion engine costs nearly exactly the same amount of money. And I think this one then is the better choice.